Alright guys, welcome to your 22nd MySQL tutorial and in this lesson, I'm going to be talking to you guys about one of the coolest, most important and also powerful features of MySQL and that is how to join together tables. So let's go ahead and take a look at our tables we have so far. We have a customers table, which pretty much all the users of the website, this is their personal information, and also an items table. Because remember, our website was kind of like eBay, where the user can list an item and other people can bid on it. So check it out. What if our boss comes in and he's like, Bucky, these items, you're doing a pretty good job on these. You have the name of the item, the cost of the item, the number of bids. That's uh, pretty good information. But we also need the seller's information. Whenever you list the item in a table, you need the seller's name and address and zip code and state. Therefore, whenever anyone is bidding on your item, you know, then they know if they win it where to send the money to or whenever they win your item they can expect they know where the items coming from to calculate shipping cost so we say okay that's gonna be a problem so you're telling me that I have to redesign my entire items table to include the sellers name address zip code on each row well check this out first of all whenever you have a user that is selling like 20 items that means that we would have 20 different rows that say the same thing Bucky Roberts, Bucky Roberts, Bucky Roberts, Bucky Roberts New York, New York, New York, New York, New York okay so that can get kinda of repetitive and we know that anytime we see repetitive information in MySQL that means we probably did something wrong aside from that say that I'm a user on this website and I have like I said 20 or 30 items listed now I'm looking at my address and I accidentally typed North Carolina instead of New York is my state. So does that mean that I'm going to have to go through every item and change my address from New York to North Carolina or vice versa? Well that can be a pain in the butt too. So what can we do to solve this problem because we can't get away from the fact that we need the seller's information on each row. Well thankfully for you in my SQL you can do something called join tables together and whenever you do this you create a temporary table that pretty much grabs information from any table that you want it to and makes a temporary table with all the information you want so let me go ahead and show you guys how to do this real quick say our boss says okay I won't make you get all this information but you at least need the customers and guys the customer is pretty much like the user you need the user's ID and the user's name and you also need the items name that they're listing and the cost of the item so for each item you also need the user's ID and the user's name and we say okay the only problem is some of the information is in our customers table and some of the information is in our items table so how the heck do we want to do that well check this out Whenever I made this table, I arranged it in a very specific way and I did it for a very specific purpose. In our items table, we not only have the name of the item and the price of that item, but we also have the ID number of who listed that item. So for example, the seller ID of this used diaper from my sister is one. So therefore, we know that in our customers table, whoever has the ID of one, that's who's selling the used diaper, who happens to be me who lives at Hungerford Ave, Adams, New York, 13605. So that way, instead of having to type all the other information, we can just reference their ID number, and then you can hop over to the customer's table and say, hey, that ID number is this person, or the person who's selling that car is Cynthia because her seller ID was six. But how do we take this information and combine it into a new table? Well, in order to do that, I'll show you. Go ahead and use your select statement, just like before, and what you need to do is you need to type the name of the columns that you want to use from each table but check this out in customers we have a column name ID okay that's nice why are you telling me this well in items we also have a column name ID okay so that can get kinda of confusing whenever you're typing in MySQL and you say select ID MySQL is gonna look at you and be like hey what ID do you want me to select the customers ID or the items ID. In order to do this, we need to use fully qualified names. So remember, customers dot ID means okay, select the ID column from the customers table. We also want to select the customers name 
from the or excuse me the name from the customers table because remember name exists both in items and customers so now what we want to do is we want to select two more columns our boss said items name and items cost so now we selected four columns that we want to make up our brand new table that our boss required so now we add a from and we say okay these are the columns now what tables is this information coming from the customers tables and the items tables now whenever you are making a join just go ahead and hit all or excuse me list all of the tables that you want to join and separate them with a comma but make sure not to put a comma after the last one now after this you need to add a where clause and this where clause is basically saying okay how are these tables related well they're related because the customers ID is equal to the seller ID now by default my SQL doesn't know that the seller ID in items is actually the ID number of the customers so that's pretty much the heart of this query that's where we need to tell it how and where the tables are related they're related right here so now I'm just gonna add a simple order clause order by customers ID now let me just go ahead and copy this in case I have an error run this baby and check it out we now have a new custom table with all of the information that our boss required without having to edit our customers table or items table for each of the sellers we listed their ID number my ID number was number one the name of the sellers and these two bits of information are from the customers table now these last two columns of information are from the items table for each of the sellers we listed the items they're selling and also the cost of the item so now check this out instead of going into our items table and having to write Bucky Roberts Bucky Roberts for all my items and then in case we need to edit my name we don't need to edit that 10 or 20 or 50 times for each item the only thing we need to do is hop over to this customers table and say okay I'm just gonna edit this once and there you go so it's a whole lot easier in like I said anytime you are working with the joining tables in MySQL what you do is you go ahead and you select all of the columns that you want to use in your new table and make sure to use the fully qualified names so MySQL doesn't get confused and then you write from and select what are the original tables that you're selecting those columns from next you write your where clause and your where clause is basically how your tables are related what do they have in common and also if you want to order by them you know just organize them in any fashion you can sort them with an order by clause I decided to order mine by customers ID so there you for go oh, I can't even talk now I talked a lot during this tutorial I might be running out of time but there you go there is your simple tutorial on how to join tables and in the next lesson I'm gonna be showing you guys an alternative syntax that may be a little easier but anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video